Hello everybody, I'm going to read you a story today and it's by Peter Bentley and Penny Dan. It's called Polly Parrot Picks a Pirate. Let's read the blurb on the back. Polly the parrot is sick of her tree and wants to fly away for life on the sea. For that she'll need a pet pirate, but it won't be easy picking the perfect one from this pesky bunch. Swashbuckling story packed full of pirates and one very picky parrot. Do you think you fancy that book? Let's have a read, shall we? You ready? Polly the parrot was sick of her tree. Same old branches and leaves, same old nothing to see, same cheeky chimps with their same cheeky tricks. I'm fed up with living out here in the sticks. She's up there, she looks a bit fed up, doesn't she? She squawked, it's a life on the ocean for me. I'll find a pet pirate and sail off to sea. I'll find one who's clever and dashing and brave, who's handsome and clean and who won't misbehave. So off fluttered Polly that very same day to the inn by the harbour at Buccaneer Bay. There sat the pirates with all of their crews. Now, wondered Polly, which one shall I choose? Oh, she's got a lot to choose from, hasn't she? Just having a good look up there from the vantage point. Bartholomew Blood appeared smart at first sight, but sadly for Polly, he wasn't too bright. I can't find my treasure, he said with a frown. You noodle, squawked Polly, your map's upside down. Oh dear. Oh dear, Polly sighed, but I won't give up yet. I'm sure I can find a much cleverer pet. Phineas Mudd seemed a fine, fearless sort, but was really the clumsiest pirate in port. He swung from the rigging with daring and dash, then slipped on a barrel and crash and splash. Oh dear, sighed Polly. But I won't give up yet. I'm sure I can find a less bumbling pet. Oops. Crazy Kit Cutlass looked fearsome and brave till he ran with a screech from the smuggler's cave. As Crazy Kit trembled in terror beside her, Polly peeped in and discovered a spider. Oh dear, Polly sighed, but I won't give up yet. I'm sure I can find a less cowardly pet. There's the spider dangling down. She searched the whole harbour, she flew all around, but the perfect pet pirate just couldn't be found. Gentleman Ned was too fond of his clothes. Too toothed Trelawney kept picking his nose. Ooh dear. Mad Dog Domingo wore stockings that stank. And Jack Salamander kept walking the plank. Sighed Polly, I can't find that pirate for me. So it looks like I'll have to go back to my tree. Oh dear. She was just heading home when she heard a man say, There's a big pirate battle in Buccaneer Bay. Redbeard is fighting with old Pegleg Pete. They're the very best pirates in all of the fleet. At last, Polly thought, as she turned for the sea. They sound like the perfect pet pirates for me. She's off again. Smash went the pirates and wallop and crunch. They fought all day long with a short break for lunch. Surrender, cried Pegleg, but Redbeard roared, Never surrender yourself, I'm the best pirate ever. Redbeard and Pegleg were in a right strop. They battled and bashed until Pony squawked, Stop! Why, the, 
This, the way this is going, there won't be a winner, except for the sharks who will have pirates for dinner. Why don't you stop fighting and simply agree that you're both the best pirates who sail on the sea? Mm. Then Polly looked closely and saw a strange thing. That massive red beard was tied on with string. Uh-oh. She tugged at the beard and it fell in the sea. Great galleons, gasped Peggy. Old red beards, uh, I wonder what you think it's going to be. She! Do you know, chuckled Redbeard, this parrot is right. There re there's really no need to continue our fight. Why don't we join forces, said Pegleg. With pleasure, double the pirates means... Da, 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 double the treasure. Pegleg and Redbeard were married that night. They danced round the mast and forgot their old fight. Hooray, Polly cried. What a fabulous do. I wanted one pirate and now I've got two. They're clever and dashing and fearless and brave, but I might have to check that they don't misbehave. So, with her new pets, Polly sailed off to sea and she thought, it's a life on the ocean for me. As she turned to her tree for one last farewell glimpse, she laughed. Now I'm finally free of those chimps. She's married. Did you like the story? I enjoyed it. See you again for another story. Bye.